Both Joe Biden and Donald Trump are California dreaming this week as they come to our state to raise money for their presidential campaigns. How are they being received? The liberal media will tell you that Biden got a lot of support and that Trump was shunned and protested. Well, guess what? It's actually the reverse and we can prove it. I'm Carl DeMaio, chairman of Reform California, and we have both Joe Biden and Donald Trump and even Vice President Kamala Harris, word salad queen, coming to California this week as part of the presidential campaigns. Now, I am not going to suggest to you that somehow California is going to go red in the presidential campaign. That would be very, very difficult to pull off, though I think Trump is going to do a hell of a lot better in this November election uh, than people expect in California. But these presidential campaigns treat California as a, an ATM machine. And that really disappoints me because first, you know, we deserve as the most populous state to have presidential candidates come here, not just to talk to millionaires and billionaires, but to talk to real people and hear from real people about our challenges, our struggles. Second, I think that Trump uh, could use California as a foil. I know he does on the stump. He points out the homelessness, the crime, the high cost of living. Uh, absolutely. But in California, the problems are so dire that um, I believe it provides an illustration, a warning, if you will, for what's going to happen to the rest of the country. But uh, be that as it may, they're coming this week to raise money in a series of fundraisers. Kamala Harris was in San Francisco yesterday. Joe Biden is going to be in L.A. in about uh, you know, a matter of hours. Uh, Donald Trump is in San Francisco tonight and will be going to both L.A., Beverly Hills, and Newport Beach tomorrow for fundraisers. Uh, my sources tell me that the Trump fundraisers are completely sold out. And we're talking about very expensive tickets. Um, Biden's fundraisers, uh, yeah, we're not hearing so much about his uh, attendance or his tally seems to be pretty anemic. More on that in just a moment. But um, Kamala Harris was in San Francisco yesterday, and you didn't see a whole lot of media coverage on this. And there's a reason why. Kamala Harris was not greeted warmly. She was actually greeted with pro-Palestinian protesters on the streets of San Francisco. Uh, and again, the media won't cover, cover this in the deep blue state of, of, of California, where you would think that Democrats would be lining up to cheer on their home, you know, team. Nope. We've got these, uh, extremist protesters. Not from a news, uh, report, but actual raw footage. Got a police presence there. By the way, uh, Israel is not occupying uh, Gaza or the West Bank. Uh, you know, the uh, Hamas has occupied Gaza and uh, the Palestinian Authority runs uh, the West Bank. Um, they were also ch hooting, hooting and hollering about from the river to the sea, uh, all sorts of awful stuff. Um, so she was protested because they don't think that uh, the Biden administration is cracking down enough on, on Israel. Um, none of this coverage, though in mainstream media, that the vice president comes to her hometown of San Francisco and is greeted with a massive far left protest. Uh, you're not seeing people waving on the side of the streets. Um, now, Trump has not arrived yet, but I will absolutely tell you that he will, in Southern California, be greeted with massive crowds on the streets. He's already sold out his fundraisers, so it's a very successful trip financially. But people are chomping at the bit to show Donald Trump, that they've got his back, that they're going to support him. Again, I'm not saying that they're going to, uh, you know, that the California is going to go red, but I am saying that there is a massive core, hardcore um, uh, uh, 
activist base, even in the deep blue state of California in support of President Trump, and they will line those roads. We'll bring you footage, um, but I, I, I know that because I'm hearing from all sorts of people who say they're just going to show up with signs at intersections uh, on his the route that they expect him to take to those fundraisers and cheer him on. Uh, do you see that for Harris? Do you see, I can guarantee you that's not going to happen for, for Biden. All you're seeing are protesters. Now, I'm not saying that there won't be protesters against Trump. Sure, there will be some bag of nuts uh, showing up um, and hooting and hollering. Uh, in fact, in San Francisco, the liberal media up there wants to highlight the fact that a 33-foot-tall Trump chicken is going to come out of uh, storage to greet Donald Trump uh, and they like to make fun of uh, him for that. Now, they didn't cover the Kamala Harris protests. Um, and they certainly aren't going to point out that nobody's showing up to cheer on Joe Biden. But they want to point out the fact that, oh, yeah, everyone hates Trump so much so that, you know, there's a big chicken coming uh, his way. In fact, here is a um, chicken, a photo of the chicken uh, in San Francisco Bay. I guess they were doing a trial run. Um, so. There you go. Uh, great to see that that's what they're going to uh, spend their time. Maybe they should uh, clean up the feces on the sidewalks if they want to do something productive. Anyway, um, I, I, I have to share um, this because you're going to have uh, the media claim that, uh, you know, Biden is being warmly received in California and uh, Trump has been completely rejected by Californians. Um, I want you to know, though, that when Biden comes to Los Angeles, he is going to be doing his fundraiser at something called the Peacock Theater. I guess that's NBC, the Peacock Theater. Um, and it's a large venue. I can guarantee you they're likely not going to sell it out. Um, he is going to be on stage, not with job creators, because Trump is going to three areas and he's going to have actual business leaders there. Um, no one's on stage with him. Uh, it's him. He's the show. He is the one that they're showing up to support. In Los Angeles for the Biden fundraiser, Biden is so anemic. People are not excited about him, not enthused about him, that Joe Biden has to hang out with a bunch of actors, Hollywood elites. Apparently George Clooney is going to be there and some other wing nuts. Um, people who don't create jobs. And these are entitled multi, multi millionaires who, you know, are in show business, they're famous, and they are so arrogant that they think that, you know, somehow they can tell us how to live our lives. Again, I, I, would, I would take someone who's actually built a company over a Hollywood actor uh, with an attitude any day of the week. So he's got the Hollywood elites, but he also is bringing out, are you ready for this? Barack Obama. He, he's got to have Bar Barack Obama show up to get any sort of pull to his fundraisers, even in the deep blue state of California. Pretty pathetic. Uh, although some would argue that it's Obama that's having a third term with, with Joe Biden right now because he's a vegetable and you know it's the Obama people actually running the show. I see you, Susan Rice, hiding in the corner. Um, and so I want you to know that you're not going to hear about the response for Trump that's overwhelmingly enthusiastic. Again, I'm not saying it represents a majority, but it represents energy and intensity, even in the state of California. And by the same token, you won't hear about the lackluster, ho-hum, anemic response that Biden gets, and more so, the protests. Because Democrats are saying that they're also worried about protests of Joe Biden. In fact, in the press, uh, 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 well, LA Daily News, same company, um, they uh, talk about him bringing out the stars, uh, about Barack Obama, but they also raise the issue of these pro-Palestine um, uh, uh, protesters. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's clear that, um, here we are, um, it's highly likely that protesters will mobilize near the event. Uh, because of the location being uh, uh, well-known, the Peacock uh, Theater, and it's easy to get to uh, in L.A. if you can step over the, the homeless people, um, there will be protesters there. 
to greet Joe Biden. No big uh, excited people. A um, couple of things I want to co- cover real quick, uh, update you on some of the attention that Reform California's work is doing. One of the things that we do at Reform California, in addition to waging campaigns, um, uh, recruiting and training and endorsing candidates uh, to try to change the course of our state, is that we're warning the country what's actually going on in California. I was on Fox News yesterday to talk about Rubio's, uh, the beloved Rubio's fast food restaurant chain, the fish taco um, uh, uh, chain that is closing 48 stores in California because of rising costs. Um, It's a beloved chain, but $20 minimum wage um, at a time when a lot of these businesses were still crawling out of the pandemic struggles, this has hit hard. Yeah, Sandra, if you know anything about California fast food restaurants, we have two beloved hometown institutions, In-N-Out Burger, and Rubio's, they've got their famous fish tacos founded by Ralph Rubio, um, lines out the door at these restaurants. So it's not an issue of lack of interest by customers. But in and out Burger stunned people just eight weeks ago by shutting their only location in Oakland, citing crime and costs. And then this week, the, the stunning news from the Rubio Corporation, 48 of their restaurants will be shut down. Just in California, they cite skyrocketing costs of doing business because of the minimum wage uh, increase, but also California politicians have declared war on small businesses uh, with all sorts of uh, taxes and regulations. It is insane. Only Gavin Newsom and California Democrats could make inflation worse than Joe Biden, and they're doing it. When you just force Only this on- Gavin Newsom and California Democrats could make inflation worse than Joe Biden. Again, the reason why I'm, I'm um, spending a lot of time on national media is not only do we you know, get a, a California audience uh, on these shows, but we need to warn the nation what will happen to them if they vote for four more years of Joe Biden or if Gavin Newsom, who I predict will be the nominee for the Democrats as they swap out Biden for, for, for Newsom, um, what they're going to get. We're going to see California for America, which is frightening, atrocious. We also uh, uh, have been working with Fox on this story, uh, and that is the uh, bill, Assembly Bill 2586, that will give state government jobs to undocumented migrants. Um, And this will break federal law. You're not allowed to hire people without work authorization. So it puts everybody at legal risk for prosecution. Uh, And again, we're giving taxpayer-funded state government jobs out um, to people coming here illegally, this is insane uh, and offensive. Look, join Reform California. Help us do all of this work, whether it's uh, putting good people into office at the state and local level um, or bringing these stories to light, making sure that you know what's actually happening, the reality of the protests against Biden and Kamala Harris, the support actually that we are seeing for President Trump. Uh, even in the deep st- blue state of California, and our ability to warn the country what will happen if they decide to embrace the California far left policies that have ruined our state. Chip in a contribution at reformcalifornia.org. Sign up at the bottom so that we can keep you up to speed on what's going on, as well as provide our voter guide to you in November, the plain English voter guide, where you know what the real contents of these ballot measures are um, on the statewide ballot that are so deceptively worded. Join the fight at reformcalifornia.org. Until next time, Carl DeMaio, chairman of Reform California. Help us break through the censorship of the liberal media. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and smash that notification button so you can stay up to date on all the developments in California news and politics. Also, please visit the website reformcalifornia.org for ongoing news coverage and to join one of our campaigns in the fight to take back our state you can, please sign up as a volunteer or chip in a contribution. This episode of Reform California with Carl DeMaio, paid for by Carl DeMaio for State Assembly 2024.